A big win for the Pelosi household today after the Senate passed a $52 billion, with a B, dollar semiconductor bill to boost domestic chip production. Nancy's already telling her friends that once the bill hits the House floor, she's backing it. So you can expect it to be a slam dunk. But why is Nancy so excited about a chip bill? Well, Papa P, fresh off buying 20,000 shares in a chip company called NVIDIA, putting $5 million on the line banking that it would skyrocket. And just like magic, the stock is already up 16% just in the last five days. Hmm. It's almost as if Papa Polly P saw the bill coming. How odd. But Fancy Nancy says there's nothing to see here. Her office telling us, quote, the speaker does not own any stocks. The speaker has no prior knowledge or subsequent involvement in any transactions. One problem with that statement, California is a community property state, which means spouses split assets 50-50. So when Pauly P slings a couple stocks, Nancy automatically gets 50% of the action. This looks so bad, even the lefties on CNBC don't like it. Watch. Someone said to me, you know, why, why hasn't Congress moved on this? And then I say, why hasn't Congress moved on it? Look who's in charge of, look who's in charge of the House. Doesn't it just undermine the credibility of Congress and our elected officials? Do you think that Nancy Pelosi should recuse herself completely from uh, negotiating, voting on, and participating in any conversation around the CHIPS Act? Hey, that's a good question. Let's ask criminal defense attorney Brian Claypool. All right, what do you got, Brian? Hey, Jesse, great to be back with you. Let me get this straight. Nancy's the Speaker of the House, right? So we think she's a pretty intelligent woman. And she's telling you that she has no ownership in any stock? Really? I mean, that is flat out fiction. And we know that she knows that she owns 50% of everything that Paul Pelosi gets. So that's a bunch of garbage for her to try to tell the public, oh, I don't have any. And she also said, by the way, Jesse, oh, I don't talk to Paul about that, right? <laughs> Would you believe that, right? We don't talk about that, but remember you had me on about this arrest. Paul Pelosi got arrested for DUI. And wait a minute, she was talking really fast about that. She talks to Paul about that. She called up the PR firm. She called up the criminal defense lawyer. It's ridiculous. The optics here are horrible, Jesse, and here's why. Because if there is evidence that Paul Pelosi gained confidential information, that would be that there is a bill in the works, 50, what, $52 billion to help this semiconductor company, NVIDIA, that he invested in. If he had information about that and it wasn't available to the public, which we don't think it was to the, to the general public, then at minimum, there should be an investigation of potential insider training. So where is the congressional oversight and reform committee. Carolyn Maloney's the head of that. Let's contact her and find out whether there's going to be an investigation. How yeah. about the DOJ? They're going to look into this? Oh, yeah, the DOJ, right? they're going to look into it right after they get through with the Hunter Biden investigation. <laughs> I'm sure oh, they're going to be right, right, right on right. it, Brian. And, and, right on it. Right on yeah, it. All right. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much. We will be reaching out to Representative Maloney very soon. Thanks as always. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.